Hi, in this demo we'll show you the results of an educational project that was carried out in the State University of Nizhny Novgorod. We also want to thank technical people from the Mera company, our university's partner, who provided us with trainings and consultations on C protocol and AMS architecture and were always ready to help with any issue. So our AMS multimedia application was developed using Ericsson Service Development Studio and tested with AMS Core Network emulated by means of SDS. This application provides mobile users with capability to browse multimedia service content, try and download media. Application consists of client and server parts that interact with each other through IMS network with help of Ericsson's Java APIs, AGCU on the client and SIP servlets on the server side. From the high-level perspective, main client models are presentation layer, that encapsulates all user interface related functionality. It contains the midlet class that is the main entry point of client application, forms classes, filters that process requests from corresponding forms. renderers for representing lists in various ways, managers that handle forms and user interactions. Services package that starts concrete tasks and provides communication between application layers. And net package, which manages network communications for SIP and HTTP protocols. The server's core is a SIP servlet that handles client requests arriving through the AMS network to the SCSCF and then being forwarded to the application server. SIP servlet uses the service package to pass client requests and transfer them to the data layer. The data layer communicates with MySQL server via data access objects. Later we'll start the mobile client using a prepared JAT file to speed up the process. So let's delete the corresponding project from the package explorer so that it will not divert your attention. To demonstrate client-server interaction, the core MS network emulator should be started. First of all, call session control function nodes should be started. Then we start the DNS. At last we launch the Sailfin application server that is able to run AMS services. Now, when all nodes in the emulated AMS network are up and running, application server part should be deployed on the sale fin. Now it's time to launch the client. It can be run on any Java-enabled mobile device. For this demo we use Sun Wireless Toolkit emulator instead of a real phone. When started, client registers in the network and requests initial data from the server. This process can be visualized with a diagram that shows SIP traffic between the client, the server and the core MS network. You can see that client and server exchange XML requests and responses that are encapsulated in the body of SIP messages.
users can conveniently browse media content, regrouping items in several ways. For example, by rating, to get the topmost items. By the way, you can also change the skin if you don't like current. Before downloading any content, user can view its properties. And, for example, pre-listen the audio file. Now the user is sure that he needs this item, so he downloads it to his mobile device. This icon shows that selected item was downloaded to mobile phone. This is the end of our demo. Thank you for your attention.